Hello, third graders. Welcome to Technology Class Week 32. Uh, so I hope everybody's doing well. And guess what? We're getting back into our typing lessons. So I hope you didn't forget about typing, but um, I'm gonna be giving you guys some new ones in the fourth quarter because I don't want you to forget your typing. So this week you'll be doing OBA keys. Oh, excuse me. Um, that'll be your lesson for this week. So you can always check in your assignments. When you sign into the account, it should be like the first one that pops up. And so you can work on that this week, okay? And we're going to jump right back into doing some coding. And I'm so proud of you guys. I think out of all of the grades that started, we started coding, which is basically every grade from kindergarten to eighth grade, third graders are the ones that the most students did it right away. Um, I was looking, I was doing all the grading and everything. And I said, whoa, the third graders really love coding. I have every kid did it except for three kids. Every kid did it in the class. So I am so proud of you guys. And now we're going to move ahead to the next lesson. Um, and so last week we did lesson one, lesson two. This week we're going to do lesson three and lesson four. And we're learning about debugging. So um, whenever there is a bug, if you remember, there's a mistake, there's an error, and we need to fix it. And so we're going to be similar to last week. You're going to have an activity sheet which I wanna show you guys right here. And this time in the activity sheet, they already wrote the code. They put all the arrows here, but the problem is that they made a mistake. And so you have to go through and follow what they did and see if you can find the bug. So I'm going to try and do this with you guys. So I'm gonna get my red marker out. So they said, fill in with color, that looks good. Then they said, move one square forward, move one square down, fill in with color, that looks good so far. Move one square forward. Then they said, move one square down. Then they said, move one square forward, move one square up, fill in with color. So it looks like they're missing another move one square up, right? Um, that could be, oh, excuse me, hey God, sorry about that. Um, so let's try and see. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna put a little check mark. So first one looks good, check, fill in with color. Move that way, check, move down, check, fill in with color, check, move this way, wait, sorry, now I lost where I was. Fill in with color, move one square, move one square down, fill in with color, move one square over that looks good but then it should be this one is wrong because this right here should be fill in with color so this should really be that one and then it said move one square that way move one square up and then fill in with color so the mistake was right that one so we're looking for the bug and that was our bug so remember when i send this to you save your pdf on your desktop so that way you can use the draw tool and you could fill it in and make sure you save it. So when you send it to me, it'll all the writing will be in. Let's try another one and see if we can find the mistake. So we're starting here. We have fill in with color, then move one square forward. Good. Move one square forward, fill in with color, move one square forward, move one square down, fill in with color. So now we're over here. Then it has move one square forward. So that's not gonna work. It needs to do move one square down, then move one square down and then fill in with color. So our mistake was right there. Our bug was right there. Let's try the next one. Fill in with color, that looks good. Move one square forward, one square forward, one square down. And then up, no. And then another square down. Then fill in with color, looks good. One square forward, one square up, fill in with color. Voila! I'll let you guys finish the last one, okay? So you're looking for the bugs. Um, when you find the bug, circle it and put in the correct answer, okay? 
So that's the first part of the assignment. And so that was um, lesson three. And now I'm gonna shut my video. I'm gonna put the video on for debugging with Laurel lesson four. So let's watch this. All computer scientists, no matter how experienced they are, run into errors that they need to fix. This is where debugging comes in. Debugging is just a word that means finding and fixing errors in a program, and the first step towards fixing errors is to find them. Most puzzles have a step button below the play space that you can use to hunt for problems. If your program doesn't work, press the step button and see what happens. Does the character take action in the right way? If everything looks good with the first block of code, press the step button again. How does everything look? Is it still running right? Keep going through your code line by line until you find the first place where things go wrong. What happened? What was supposed to happen? What does that tell you? In this puzzle, I get to the last line of code and don't reach the goal. What happened? I got to the end of my code without solving the puzzle. What was supposed to happen? I need to go forward one more step. What does that tell me? It tells me I need to drag out one more of these blocks and attach it to the end before I click run. Ta-da! That's how you debug a program. All right, so let's see. You guys ready to do some debugging? Let's press continue. And let's take a look here. So, oh no, I see a problem. Fix the error to collect all the treasure. So it has move forward, move forward, move forward, but we forgot to add in the collect block, right? So let's see if we could use our repeat block because what are we doing? We're moving forward and collecting how many times? One, two, three times. So that should work, let's see. You collected all three items. So great job. Okay, fix the error to collect the treasure. So this one says move forward, collect, move forward, collect, turn left. But if we turn left, we're gonna be going that way. So we can see the mistake is turn right. So you can always run your code too to see the problem first. Like, let me see if I could try it on the next one. I'm gonna just run this and we see this doesn't look right, right? Because it should be move forward and then collect three times. So the collect is happening three times. <laughs> Yay. Great job. Okay, so now this one, a little bit trickier. You could use the step block. If you press the step button, it will go block by block. Move forward, collect. Turn left, move forward. Eh, we could see this should be a turn right. Let's reset. Move forward, collect, turn right. Move forward, collect, turn right. Oh, looks like he's the wrong direction. Should be a turn left. <laughs> Yay! So I was trying to show you guys how to use the step block. It goes step by step by step and it highlights each one. So let me try the step block again. Move forward, move forward. Oh, we see we're missing something here. Should be move forward, collect. Should be move forward, collect, move forward, collect, move forward, collect. Right? Move forward, collect. And we're doing that three times. Oops. We'll move forward and collecting three times. Then after that, we have to see what we're doing. So now we're over here, then we turn right, we move forward and we move forward. Turn right, we move forward. And then we have to, now we're over here. Now we have to, um, turn what direction? Right again, I think. 
So we might need to try this out. Um, let's see here. Ah, move forward again. So it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. And I actually should be using these blocks because it wants me to use the gray ones. So this looks like a big mess, but I'm trying to use the blocks. So I actually should be using the blocks from here just to try to use the blocks that they provided. Now let me try step by step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I would want to do collect and move forward. And how many times am I doing that? Collect, move forward, collect, move forward, collect. So probably, let's see if that works three times. Let's see. And then let's see if we can throw this all out. So I'm just trying to go step by step to see if it works. Let me run. <laughs> It worked, yay. Okay, so let me press finish. So I'm going step by step. I'm trying to rate the algorithm to solve the puzzle. Here's the challenge puzzle. So, oh my gosh, this one looks crazy. There's treasure everywhere and it's just, there's code everywhere. This is so intimidating, right? That's okay, that's okay. We're gonna just try to go step by step. So first thing they have here is move forward, move forward, collect, collect. Move forward, collect, collect. So now that seems good. So then if she turns left and then move forward and then turn left again. Let's see, move forward and then turn left again and then move forward and then collect two times. Let's see what happens then. Step, step. Now we got those, but now we need to somehow get to another one because they want us to get six items. So if I move forward one, two more times, and then if I'm here, then I need to turn left. Let's make this a turn left. Oh, it won't let me change it. Turn left and then move forward, move forward and collect two times. I wonder if that'll work. My gosh, this is a lot of code. So I'm just trying to go step by step and I might need to switch out I don't know, let me see. I'm gonna delete and I'm gonna get put these in the trash. It won't let me delete this one, which means I might need it. So collect, collect, turn, collect, collect. So it looks like I was able to do it. The only problem is that. I had this other turn right block here that I never really plugged in, which probably might be because I should have gone a different direction. Hmm. So it's a little bit tricky. This is a challenge puzzle, but we did do it. We did collect six. So you, you might try it a different way and see if you're able to get that move right block, turn right block into it. All right. So much treasure, help Laurel fix the code to get all the treasure. Wowzers. Okay, so another one, these can be challenging guys. Really gotta use your brain on these. All right, so let's do step-by-step. Step. First step, move forward, collect. But that's not going to be enough. We need to collect two more. So I wonder if we move these two collects here. Let's see what happens. And then we had turn left, move forward. And then at that point, we wanna do two more collects. Turn, move forward, collect, woohoo, we fixed it. That was not so bad. 
Not too bad. Okay, here's our last level of debugging. We've been doing a lot of thinking today. Help Laurel fix the code to get all the treasure. So here, let's do step by step again. So now we should collect five times at this point. So let's get five collect blocks. There's four, there's five. And then I don't know what the next turn is, but let me just reset, so. Okay, move forward. Now that should not be a turn left, that should be a turn right. That should be a turn right. Okay, so let me do step by step again. I'm hitting the step button, going through the steps. And now this should be collect five. So we have three, four, five. So now it should work. <laughs> Yay, it worked. We did it. So that was pretty challenging, I would say. So you guys are gonna get to try this yourself and you can always use the video too, but it's a lot of just use that step button and go step by step by step down your algorithm. See what's working. If it's not working, see if you're missing a block or you need to change a direction or just kind of see what is going on until you actually solve the puzzle, okay? So that is your homework for this week is to do the sheet, the debugging sheet here, this relay programming sheet, and then um, to finish lesson four. And then we'll do lesson five next week. So you don't need to go ahead. I know some of you went ahead, but it does get pretty hard. And so it might be hard for you to do it on your own. So you might wanna wait. So you could also watch the video and then have some help. But anyways, I'm so proud of you guys. You're doing amazing um, with your coding. So we'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye guys.